Yo, what's going on guys? Before this video starts, I just want to say it was pre-recorded around about a week and a half ago. So everything you're about to see in this video was before I fell ill and was rushed to hospital. If you guys don't know, you know, what's gone on, um, pretty much, you know, I underwent a TIA, which is a, a small stroke, and my left side of my face and shoulder is paralyzed. So again, Thank you so much for the love, the support, especially in my last video, guys. You guys were absolutely amazing in the last video. And if you want to support me, there is a GoFundMe page in the link um, in the description down below. So without further ado, guys, this video is very exciting. It is a new CQB game. Um, it's a major update, which is coming out in October. It is confirmed. So enjoy. Yo, 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 what is going on, ladies and gents? It is your boy here, I'm O, and in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you some exciting news about a CQB game. I'm going to update you on the game of Area F2 as well, and uh, yeah, just pretty much some exciting news in this video, so stay tuned. I've got a lot to go through with you. Yeah. Ladies and gents, kids and adults, granddads and grandparents, and everybody in between. What is going on? Welcome back to another video. So, in the intro, I mentioned I'm going to update you on Area F2. So, I want to quickly start the video with that topic. Because there isn't much to update you on. Unfortunately, there's no amazing news. So, I'm just going to just basically talk to you of what's happened so far with that game. Developers have no longer responded to me. In fact, their Discord accounts have now gone. Their email addresses has gone. But there has been some kind of updates in the background. So for starters, um, you guys probably have already seen this on other like leaked Discord channels and YouTube channels that discuss Area F2. But basically their, their contact customer service email has now changed to a new one um, from the old one. They have updated some of their website, the Cougar, Cougar Game Shop. Basically um, just going into more depth. I'm not going to go into detail with that, but I'm just going to let you know what they've updated. Um, down to game files, they've updated no game files at all. But I want to give my opinion on that. So basically, what you need to realize is that if they, you know, because of all the information we've got so far about the game, somebody in that company has had a bollock in from leaking information, talking, you know, to content creators like myself. So if you was in charge of a big company like that, what would you do? Firstly, if you know that the public have still got the game downloaded on their Android devices and have clicked on, and they know every time you update your game, they can see what updates you're doing. So that's what we were doing. We were, we were basically data mining. So every time they did a little update in the game, we would go into the, uh, the files and see what was new. But they've completely stopped that now. So I'm guessing they've made a brand new application now. So instead of it being the Area F2 app that we used to know, I believe they've made another one so they can update their game in private so we can't see what's happening or something along those lines. Or, last resort, maybe they're not designing the game after all. But that is last resort because in my opinion, guys, I've discussed it in my previous videos, there was a lot of money earned and the game was huge within the first month. It was such an a success... That, that, uh, such an success. Why can't I pronounce this word? Such an successful game. There we go. So, are they really going to let that idea go down the drain? But if they do, and this is the second part of my video, if they do, they are going to lose the war because there is a brand new game out. Well, it's not brand new. Um, the game's been out a couple of months, but in my opinion, it flopped really, really hard. I played it once or twice. I didn't like it. But there is good news to this. I have been speaking to the developers of a game called Strike Team Online. So guys, before you click off the video, bear with me. I'm going to show you some information and some messages between me and the developers. So basically, I gave them my honest opinion. I, I, I said, you know, the game's not enjoyable. People are running at you and they're, they're, their figures are like looking like zombies, like it didn't look nice. The graphics was very, very poor. But they have announced they are bringing a brand new update. I'm not going to let you know the time frame as they, you know, I don't think they want me to let you guys know because they don't want to 
have the pressure put on them. Even though this video is going to put a little bit of pressure on them. But basically, what's going on is they have been, well, they've been working on a brand new update. And in this update, there's going to be a couple of new things. So I'm going to show you now screenshots. I'm going to go through them, give my opinions on them. Um, maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong on some of the opinions I give on it. But here we go. So I'm going to change my screen right now. Okay, here I am. Voila! Hello, everybody. Right, okay, so ladies and gents. Okay, somebody just followed me. I don't know what social media that was, but okie dokie. Thank you very much. Um, let me just turn that off because I don't want that on. There we go. Right, so I got a couple of pictures here to show you. I want to go through all of it. And yeah, so let me just move my webcam all the way up the top here. And we shall go straight into it. So first things first, we're going to start off. We're not going to do any order. We're just going to click on them and we're going to show you. So this is one of the screenshots that um, their official Twitter has released. So let me just explain briefly what this is about. So, you know, it's, it's basically showing you how you got killed, which is a really good feature in my opinion. So as you guys know, in Area F2, you get headshot, you're dead. One bullet, boom, you're dead. And by the looks of it, it's the same implementation with this game. So as you can see on the screen right now, I believe I can draw. Wait a minute. Draw. Let's change this to yellow. So this dude took five shots. Of course, there was no headshots. He was shot in his right arm and his chest. Yes, this is his right side because if you flip them around, then you're, you know, I'm not going to go into the physics. But yes, so I believe this is a really good feature to the game that they've added here. And in my opinion, it's new. We haven't seen this on any other game yet on mobile. I don't believe. I don't think we have actually. But this, this screenshot is very basic. I want to get into some exciting stuff here. Keep you guys going. So I'm going to show you a screenshot here of everything I was speaking to about the devs. So I had a couple of questions for them. So here we go. So new update. Uh, basically, these he's answering my questions here. So my question was, will the up, new update um, improve the graphics, basically? Yes, the graphics will be improved, which is marvelous because this is one of the features I did not like about the game. I did not... I just thought the graphics was not good. I didn't enjoy it. I just knew it could have been better. So yes, they're, they're improving it. Is the new game mode a CQB? So like Area F2. His response was, it will be more similar due to the destruction, skills and UI changes, but might not be as competitive due to the map layouts. So before we stop there, before we carry on, should I say, let me just quickly go over to their Twitter here. Because there's something I want to show you. Oh, I'm spelling their name completely wrong. Strike Team Online. If you haven't already, go follow them, guys. But there is this here. What, so what he's on about with destructible walls and stuff is one of the features that you saw in Area F2 where you could break walls. So here is their 3D design of breaking walls. Yes, it looks a bit chunky. It doesn't look really neat. But guys, you need to remember this game is being developed by... It's like one, one main developer, one animator, and one marketer, I believe. So, yes, I'm going to explain a little bit more in detail why I've just mentioned that later on in the video. So, let's get back into it here. So, what FPS will the game run on? So, this was a really important question I wanted to know. And their response was, the game supports 30, 60, 120, and even more. So, if you guys are wondering even more. Yeah, so some phones, like, they've got, you know, the, I think the Asus Rogue phone, the brand new one, it's got, like, a 244 hertz screen, or 100, I don't know what it is, actually. 144 hertz. I think a new phone's got 200 now. But anyway, it just means more FPS. So the game will run nice and smooth, because when I had my Android tablet, the game ran like crap. It was, like, 30 FPS. It was, it was not nice, so... Expect an FPS update. So this is an important question here. Will the radar be removed from the CQB mode as it will ruin the game mode? So I asked this question on purpose because I'm just going to quickly show you this here. 
I'm not going to show you the whole screenshot. I just want to, like, right. So, at the top here, it's got a radar. And I did post it in my Discord channel. So, my Discord channel right here. I did actually post it in my announcements. So, if we scroll up, there's a couple of things that I did post in here. Uh, for example, these and this. Oh, the, right. Okay, never mind. Never mind. This is new to me. And basically, a lot of you was moaning about the radar. I even, I even moaned as well myself. I didn't think it was a good idea, in my opinion. But uh, so basically, he responded saying it wasn't planned to be removed yet, but someone suggested it. So feel free to vote. But so what they're trying to say is. Um, I'm guessing somebody was in my Discord channel and, you know, said, Yo, why is there a radar? And somebody that was in the Strike Team Online Discord mentioned it to one of the developers on that day. And that is why he's responded with this. So the reason I kind of went quiet then when I was looking at some of the screenshots I posted in my Discord was because I didn't even notice it. Um, basically, I'm going to show you a quick screenshot here of one of their, you know, original screen well one of their original pictures that they they showed on their social media so this is part of one of their maps so let me go into i'm not going to go into much detail actually because i'm going to reshow it but as you can see up the top left here and um, there's a radar and then on one of their newer screenshots that they've given us there is no longer a radar on the screen nowhere to be seen look it's not there so they've listened which is amazing because developers really need to listen to the community to update their games. They don't like, it's one of the most important features of a game is to listen to their community. Area F2 did that. They listened to us. They listened to us content creators because us content creators is your voices. You guys used to come to me and explain your frustrations. And I would explain that in videos. And my videos were heard by the developers and, you know, and so on, so on. It goes up the, up the chain and it works. So guys, let's just work as a community here and let's just see what the game's all about. So last question here. Will there be drones or will you be, be using something else? My opinion, don't use drones as R6 will hate this. We use something like flying ones or something along those lines. Be creative. Their response was, we will use drones similar to these in Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, well, that is up to you if you want to use that. But, you know, if you guys don't know what the drones, what we're talking about are, it's these things here. We had them in Area F2, and that was one of the features that was bought in the lawsuit when Rainbow Six Siege actually went straight across to Rainbow Six. Uh, when Rainbow Six Siege went across to Area F2, that was in their lawsuit. So one of my suggestions that I said to Area F2 was, why don't we have something like flying drones? Like, uh, like you know, have you seen those Maverick GoPro drones? Like something like that with cameras. Simple, you know? But Strike Team Online will be featuring drones like such. So there's nothing we can do about it. I, in my opinion, I do like drones, but I'm just, I'm worried that if the game gets big, that, you know, Area F2 hashtag 2 happens. So... Right, next screenshot here, guys. I'm going to try and be a little bit quicker. I am taking my time here. So there is a gunsmith as well added to this game. So you can add your own muzzles, your barrels, your side rails, optics, stocks, rear grips, magazines, under barrels. So this brings a massive feature. CQB games never have this feature. You're all stuck with the same weapon. I don't know how it's going to, how it's going to work. Is it going to be, you know, is it going to be broken? Is it not going to work alongside the CQB aspect of the game? Because, you know, I'm not, actually, I'm not going to go into detail. You guys leave your opinions in the comment section down below. Next image I'm going to show you is a operator. So, yes, this is another thing that I want to mention is everything in this game, like the agents that used to be called in Area F2 in this game are called operators, which is also seen in Rainbow Six Siege. So hopefully this is not another bad issue here. Um, but I like operators, to be honest. But as you can see, this is a operator. The name is called Interrogator right here. So let me just quickly remove this. So as you can see, guys, on the screen right now, 
it is a recon. So what a recon is, is basically like a support um, solo player kind of thing. So in real life, a recon player would, if it was in like the army, would go out um, and scout areas, write down information, blah, 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 blah. In this game, of course, it's called an interrogator. So in my opinion, it's going to be something similar to um, Cav in Rainbow Six Siege. So Cav is a operator which basically lurks, um, has a skill which makes you go silent, and you can interrogate people to release um, basically where the information of the enemy team are for like about five seconds. So it kind of gives us a hint in the description here. Hide and seek, Frogman is here. So Armor 2, which is fair because the speed is free. I like that. And the skill is interrogate. So everything I just mentioned there, basically there we go. So this one I actually got off a Twitter account, which is the basically the 3D animator for the game. Um, as you can see, his name is Amen Montanzuria. <laughs> Sorry, mate, if I butchered your name there. Um, but he is the the animator for the game. So here he's developed a map called Kill House. This is V1. This is just a top down. So not much to really explain here. Of course, we got staircases, uh, little staircases. You got the objectives where you run. I don't think this is actually CQB um, map, but I just wanted to show you guys. So next image I'm going to show is the game will implement C4s or nitro cells or whatever you want to pronounce them. They are going to implement these devices. So these are explosive devices that can blow doors up, blow players up, blow pretty much anything up. So these actually bring a massive uh, strategic, uh, strategic, strategic, Strat, strate, I don't know how to pronounce that word. I don't know what it is with me today. I can't talk. Basically, it gives you more options to attack objectives. Okay. You can blow like ceilings up with it. So you can have peak holes. You know, you can blow up a wall and rush really quickly. You can put pressure on people by putting it on a door frame where they can't see it and shoot it. So it stops them from going in that door frame. There's a lot of things that you can go do with a C4. So. Okay, next. This one's quite a good one. I like this one. Okay, so I'm gonna I wanna get my fancy yellow uh marker out here. Ranked! Oh yeah! We got ranked, baby. Whoa! I just wanna jump straight down and say, look at this. Friendly fire is on. Oh yes. Oh this is going to this is going to Oh, this is going to split the noobs with the pros. One thing Area F2 did not feature in their ranked games was Friendly Fire. And in my opinion, I used to hate, I used to hate, hate, hate having newbie teammates. So if I had Friendly Fire, I could at least, you know, <clears throat> Friendly Fire them, kill them, maybe. No, I'm joking. But Friendly Fire will definitely split the pay player base up. The reason I'm saying this is literally down to the fact that, you know, people, if you've got really bad aim and you start shooting your teammates, you're going to lose the round potentially because you've lowered your health or you potentially killed your own teammates. Um, yeah, basically, it just it makes a massive difference to games. So ranked playlists are for competitive players. I'm a competitive player, so I like that. Only competitive game modes are available. Ranked scores will be calculated on win-loss, not kills to deaths. So do not play for kills, play for the wins. I used to hate people on Area F2 and I hate people on Rainbow Six Siege that give a shh about their KD. No, don't. It's about winning. Play as a team. Win the games, rank up. So one of the things I do want to mention here is only competitive game modes are available. So game modes. I just want to point out, guys, this game is already out at the minute. Like I mentioned, it's not a really good game for me. Um, until this update comes out, just mainly because they, 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 they're focused on making it like a core duty game. There's team deathmatch, there's, you know, the capture of uh, domination or whatever on there. Um, CQB, the, the, the game mode has been called bomb. I believe it's been in the game since the early beta of the game. 
but nobody plays it because it's you know and that's this is what one of the up this is what the updates all about they are trying to improve the cqp part of the game but they are also focusing on the other game modes so guys i need to ask a favor when the game comes out i know this might sound a bit bad of me to say this and the developers might hate me for saying this but try not to play the other game modes i know it's a really good feature like yeah go into team deathmatch and warm up um, but try and play the CQB game mode more than anything because if we can strive together and push the developer to, to focus on the CQB gate part of the game, hopefully we get more updates for it. It becomes better. Um, we don't know what it's going to be like right now after the new update. So the game will release on iOS on the new update. Um, so I'm, I can't give the date out, but it's soon. But guys, like I mentioned, let's just try and push for the CQB of the game. I know it's a bit selfish of me to say that because the developers are working on all the game modes and they don't want it to be a CP CQB game, but the public needs a CQB game. So come on, come on, Steve. He's the developer, by the way. Okay, next next one. So onto ranks. So here are the ranks, guys. I'm not going to go into much detail. Bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, master. Pretty simple. It's pretty much like any other ranked game. There's a couple. So lovely jubbly. So, screenshot. Um, I want to go through this real quick. I'm not going to take too much detail going through these screenshots, to be honest, because this video has been going on for 20 minutes, and I'm going to be uploading this tonight, so it's going to take a couple of hours to render and upload. So, <laughs> let's do this. So, as we can see, there are peak buttons, which are amazing. They look like little boobies. Um, but no, <laughs> in all seriousness, peak buttons are amazing. As you can see um, on this screenshot, this dude is actually peaked to the left-hand side. So he's come down. I want to just discuss the map itself um, real quick. I, I know it's, you know, I know the graphics isn't amazing, guys, but we need to be patient. This, this dude is like a one-man army developer. If we can support the game by playing it, by recommending it, by leaving it good reviews on the App Store and on Google Store, buying products in the game... It will give the developer more ambition and more funds to improve the game. Maybe get more developers on the scene. But I just want to discuss this. So there are places where you can, you know, go behind. Um, of course, the windows, uh, you can't shoot through them by the looks of it. Because they're, they're, they're kind of, yeah, they're like walls as such. They've got um, destructible walls here. The floor and the ceiling is all destructible. In my opinion... They need to perhaps not make all of it destructible because people can like breach it too easily. Um, as you can see, there's doorways and on the floor, there's a bit of rubble. So that, that looks like it was barricaded. So, yeah. But um, apart from that, though, let's have a look at the gun. This, kind, this looks like a secondary gun. Yeah, it probably is a secondary gun. But it looks really neat. It looks clean. The new scopes system looks really, really clean. They've got a radar system as well, which is one of the things we were asking for in Area F2 for so long, but we didn't get it. So, wait, did we get it? I can't remember now, but I know that we asked for it for ages. So, ignore the mini map because the mini map is no longer there. You have a chat button, you have an in game um, chat button as well. You've got a stand up button. Uh, sorry, no, stand up button. I'm guessing this is to crouch. I know that there's a crouch button on there. And um, I don't know if there's a lie down button. Hopefully there's a lie down button. So let, let's hope. But as you can see down this part here, call outs have been spotted. So enemy spotted, which is amazing. There's call outs on here. Um, let's, so let's have a look here. So this is, I'm guessing the skill. Um, I'm guessing this dude's like a doc. So he can hear his teammates or hear himself. You got a MIDI button, which is separate. I don't really like separate buttons. I hope you can remove that, um, hopefully. But looking down the bottom here, you've got pings. So that's a really good feature. I like that. You've got um, change your rate of fire, maybe to you know single or fully automatic or free bursts. You've got a health bar, which is also really good because if you're low, you're not going to push people. I'm assuming this is a C4. Um, this is cams, so you can go into your cameras, and I got no idea what this is, so I got no idea. But let's just jump straight into cameras real quick. So this is another screenshot, which is amazing. 
As you can see, um, similar aspects to any other CQB game that you've played. If you destroy a camera, if you're the defenders, you won't be able to go on those cameras because they'll be marked out, look, as of such. Um, so they'll be having those red X's. But then these ones are available to go on. The camera system looks amazing. As you can see, um, there's a defender there. And of course, there's a staircase. But there's another print screen here of somebody coming up the same staircase. So as you can see again, camera is up the top right up here. Let's just take a moment to appreciate this. Like, I really, really do like the scope. Um, I like, I like that they're different. I like that. Also, look at this. Look at this here, okay? Right, okay, I'll, I'll maybe put a bit too much ink on that. Let me uh, make that a little bit smaller. So, I'm guessing there are arm... So, there's armor plates on the game, of course. But I'm a bit confused here because... This attacker has got armor plates. But this defender has got armor plates. So is this a feature where you can potentially heal yourself? I hope not, but I don't know. I, I can't really, let me know in the comment section down below what you think these two mean. Because in my opinion, similar to like Call of Duty Warzone, if you shoot somebody and you break their armor, this symbol comes up saying, right, you broke their armor. They haven't got much health left. Um, but then in my opinion, this here, this should not be on a attacker unless it's one of the skills of the attacker. Or if we've got it the other way around, maybe this is the attacker. And the person that's scoping in right now is the defender because that makes sense. But it doesn't make sense because there's a drone. So, of course, the person that's scoping in here is the attacker. I'm very confused. But it's a different type of game. We're not going to know what it's going to be about. So, but uh, I just want to explain this. There's drones, which is amazing. Again, pings, ammo, flashbangs. There's armor plates. There's a crouch. Well, there's a crouch button there this time. Uh, I don't know how that works. But let's jump onto the next screenshot here. Um, so next one we've looked at that one is this one. So I want to go into a little bit more detail with this one. Let's get my trusty yellow color. Make that a bit smaller. First things first. There is no radar which is really good. So they've listened to their community, like I mentioned earlier. Reinforcements. They've got two reinforcements. And as you can see on these destructible wars, they have actually made them um, reinforced. So to be able to get through one of those, you will need a hard breacher. To get one of, one of these wars, you can just shoot right through it. So <clears throat> pardon me. And as you can see on the table, somebody's... Well, by the looks of it, you can actually climb on the table um, because this operator has put a um a goodie bag on the table which is the armor or does the defenders always get armor we don't know but uh here as well it can you can see that this this room here is called second floor office it looks really good guys i'm not gonna lie but shields are also being added to the game um what else that is pretty much it. That, that's all the information I've got. This video has been going on for 27 minutes long. I'm not going to edit any of it. I just want you guys to see it as it is. But yeah, man, like... this. I know this video has been long. There's been a lot of information in this video. What do you guys think of it, though, man? Uh, it's, it's, it's mad. It's crazy. But guys, if you haven't already, join my Discord link in the, in the description down below. We are on 4,431 members. I always post updates of my videos, uh, of, of course, the games. There's a lot of stuff here. Um, and there's giveaways, there's tournaments. Like next month, we've got a $100 tournament for Critical Ops. So, yeah, man, join the Discord. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comment section down below of what your opinion is of all the, well, all the information I've given you today. Um, don't download the game and judge it now because we have to wait for the update okay guys so i hope you enjoyed this video and again i'm so sorry that i've been waffling on for so so long i'm just excited that we're getting a new cqb game to the mobile community so without further ado see you later <laughs>